Welcome to Thermal Grizzly's application guide for Conductonaut and Conductonaut Extreme on D-Lidded processors. In this video, we'll show you how to safely and correctly apply these gallium-based liquid metal compounds, along with our best practices and tips. Before we get started, an important note. Liquid metal is more demanding to use than conventional thermal paste. Please make sure you've read the safety instructions included in the box. While it's typically recommended for experienced users, anyone can apply it safely by following the proper steps and precautions you'll see in this video. Conductonaut and Conductonaut Extreme offer similar performance. Extreme has a slightly lower melting point, giving it an edge for extreme applications. When running high-end systems, every degree matters. Traditional thermal pastes fill microscopic gaps but solid particles limit how thin the layer can be. Thermal grizzly liquid metal flows into the tiniest imperfections. The result? Superior heat transfer exceeding all other interface materials in portfolio. Liquid metal works best in these scenarios. D-lidded CPU with direct dye cooler. D-lidded CPU with high-performance heat spreader. GPU with cooler. Laptops requiring high-performance cooling. Specific consoles such as PlayStation 5. Important, the cooler base must be nickel-plated. Never apply liquid metal to aluminum surfaces. Gallium will corrode them. Inside the package, you'll find one syringe with liquid metal, one metal needle for application, one plastic needle for removal, two industrial cotton buds, two alcohol pads, one certificate of origin, and the instruction manual. Always prepare your D-lidded CPU outside the motherboard. Proper cleaning is essential. Start by wiping the CPU dyes and cooler or high-performance heat spreader bases with the included alcohol pads to remove any old thermal compounds. When finished, Use a dry wipe to make sure all surfaces are completely clean and dry. Liquid metal is electrically conductive. Before applying it, protect the SMD components around your CPU dies with Thermal Grizzly Shield Coating. You can also use Thermal Grizzly Captain Insulation Sheet or custom insulation films included with some products as alternatives. Just don't combine multiple insulation materials. Layering them can cause mounting or performance issues. Put on gloves to protect your skin. Attach the metal needle to the syringe then place a tiny, pin-sized drop in the center of each CPU die. If you accidentally apply too much, use the plastic needle to remove the excess. Spread the liquid metal evenly using one of the included industrial lint-free cotton swabs. Apply pressure on the tip until it makes a soft, squishy noise. Stop once you've created a thin, uniform silver coating.
Repeat the process on your direct dye cooler base or high performance heat spreader. Cover only the area that will touch the CPU dyes. Don't worry if you covered a little bit too much. If you are using a high performance heat spreader, you can apply any thermal paste or thermal pad on top of it. Once finished, place the delitted CPU in the CPU socket. Next, carefully install your direct die CPU cooler. Do not over tighten the screws to prevent instability or damage. When reapplying, first carefully remove the cooler. Lift the cooler and flip it quickly to prevent the CPU from falling back into the socket. Next, wipe the CPU dies and cooler surfaces with a dry wipe to remove old residue, then use an alcohol pad and finish with another dry wipe. Residue can collect along the edges. Clean any affected areas thoroughly before applying new insulation. You can use Thermal Grizzly Remove Cleaner or other acetone-based solution for removing Thermal Grizzly Shield coating. Finally, apply fresh insulation material and then apply fresh liquid metal as demonstrated in this video. Liquid metal can remain in your system for years. It won't dry out like conventional pastes, but it can migrate or pump out under heavy thermal cycling. Monitor your temperatures over time and reapply if you notice performance decreasing. Key tips to remember. Never apply liquid metal to aluminum coolers, as they will corrode. Make sure the cooler base is nickel-plated. Insulate surrounding SMD components to prevent short circuits, but avoid using multiple insulation materials at the same time. Apply a thin layer of liquid metal to both contact surfaces. Never reinstall the original AMD heat spreader. The gap is too large for liquid metal and doing so can damage your CPU. Do not over tighten cooler mounting screws. Recycle old or excess material responsibly. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website our support resources, or follow us on social media.